The aim of this test is to choose the right tyres for Argentina and set up the car to get the best out of them. Petter straps in for another important day in the office with his co-driver, Phil Mills. With Phil's pace notes guiding him through the test stage, Petter can concentrate on driving fast and consistently. We start the test and then Petter starts to feel the car in a road that is close and secure and he goes up and down the road to try to fine tune the car as best as he can. Petter's main concern is how the car handles through high speed corners. As he approaches a corner, he brakes. He has a split second to feel how much grip the car has. A sliding car loses speed, so he makes a series of adjustments, steering, braking and throttle. Limiting the sideways movement to get round the corner as fast as possible, without crashing. <laughs> Making the car do what Petter wants is the job of his engineer. And as part of the big shake-up, he's got a new one. Top French techie Francois Xavier de Maison, FX is quickly getting up to speed with Petter's way of working. Petter is a very demanding driver and he's, he thinks, I think, 100% of, of his time about rallying and car and, and developing the car. So he's, he, can, he can ring you in the middle of the night and say, oh, I have an idea, oh, you should do, do that and this. So it's, it's not easy now. Argentina will be a tough engineering challenge for FX and Petter. To keep clear of those notorious car-wrecking rocks, they've decided to raise the car what is for them a massive 50 millimetres higher than a tarmac rally. Raising the ride height raises the car's centre of gravity, making it more difficult to handle. So it's very hard to find a fast setup. FX has two sources of information to work with. First, he has the data that's downloaded from sensors in the car. Mm. It's moved on since Lewis's day. But they can control everything. You know, when I started running, there was nothing like this. You know, there was no, everything was much more mechanical. There were no, no, no computers, not even mobile phones. But now, I wonder what will happen if you, one day you have to do a rally now with no computers and no mobile phones. I think we'll stay at home. But FX's most reliable sensor in the car is Petter's backside. If you move the seat in the car three millimeter or two millimeter, I feel it because this is my job and I, it's the only thing I can do, <laughs> you know, I'm good at. And this is how it is, you know, it's all about feeling sometimes. Petter is never short of feedback and ideas. Because if you just clean off the small. front, maybe you have to go back on the rear, you know. That's, uh, yeah. You have to have a good memory and, uh, and ride very quickly because otherwise you miss 50% uh, of, uh, of, his, of his feedback. Driving more. FX must also learn Petter's unique way of communicating. Sign language. And he's doing pretty well. But what Petter likes most about his new engineer is that he prioritizes what Petter wants over the computer data. You know, some of the engineers will, uh, <laughs> will kill me if they hear that, but I think at the end of the day, an happy driver will not, able, will not be able to do any fast time. I'm not the easiest guy uh, to work with, maybe, but. Uh... I just want it right and we have a lot of discussions and no bad feelings, that, that's how it is. We just want the car to go quicker. It's actually fastest time by uh, point three. Much easier to drive, Bill. Yeah, I can see. It's going well. The team has chosen the tread, the rubber compounds and the construction of the tyres. Pirelli have their orders and will deliver 110 handmade tyres to Argentina in four weeks' time. With both drivers and their teams watching each other's times, it's become a mind game. Petter pushes, Loeb responds. 
but a single mistake could cost either driver the rally. Stage after stage, Petter reels Loeb in. Second by second, he narrows the gap. Petter wins stage 16, 17 and 18, and by the end of the day, he's made up 17 seconds. It's not been enough to make Rally's Iceman crack. But for the first time this year, Petter is in his element. That's what he lives for. He lives to be in the car. And if he's at one with a the car, then he will be happy. And he's, he's, he's getting the stage times. You know, he comes back to service and he's, you know, the fans want to see him. And he's, he's where he wants to be. And that's, that's what Petter's like. No, I think I've found the limit. Personally, no, I yeah. think I've found the limit. Because I, can, I can't do anything more with the dampers. <laughs> That's right, you're on, you're on zero. Right. I, you're on do, minus one. I can't do anything with more with the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everything we have done is right. Yeah, just say. You know, well, I know. <laughs> yeah. But like it is, it was now, or earlier, yeah. uh, it's the best, uh, it's the, uh, That's the best, best car I ever beat. For attacking. Oh, yeah. You know, it's a roller coaster, isn't it, really? English doesn't have the right word for a, a day like today. I guess you have to be satisfied to a certain level with today. But uh, happy's, happy's when you are winning every stage e easily. Then I would probably be happy. But not until then. <laughs>